Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to part 2 of Getting Started with Hedera's JavaScript SDK. In part 1, we showed you how to initialize your Node project and install the Hedera JavaScript SDK. In part 2, we're going to teach you how to set up your environment and configure your Hedera client connection. The first thing you're going to want to run it, want to do is run npmi.env. This is a package that will allow us to grab access to the environment variables we're going to set up in a second. After this, we're going to create a new .env file. We're going to open that file and add our desired key value format. This actually contains a key and our account ID. Uh, but maybe I should specify that this is our private key associated with that account ID. If you don't have an account for the Hedera testnet yet, you can sign up at portal.hedera.com and copy and paste the account ID and private key into the environment file that we just created. After that, we're going to create a new file for our Hedera client. I'm going to name mine hedera-client.js but feel free to name it whatever makes sense. We're going to open that new file, and then we're going to require that our .env, our environment, is configured. And then after doing that, we're going to import the client module from the Hedera Hashgraph JavaScript SDK. And then the next thing I'm going to do is say I want a new constant, and I'm going to name this Hedera client to match the name of the file. And this is going to be a new client from the Hedera JavaScript SDK. Within here, we're going to define our network connection and pass in one or as many nodes as we would like to connect to, as well as the account ID of that node. So that way we can pay it some HBAR. The other things that we can pass in include the operator, which is the account ID and the private key that is going to generate, sign, and execute these transactions for us that we're going to use in all of our other tutorials. And this is going to be the process.env and then the specific key value format that you added before. And then the final step here is going to be exporting this constant variable as a JavaScript module so that we can use it in all of our other tutorials. And so after this, you should have your environment set up and you should have your Hedera client connection configured. I hope I see you in the following tutorials, but please let me know if you have any issues in the comments below.